Ah, uh, welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Popular Demand Mod Austria and Hungary. So, guys, we have just been expanding, 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 expanding slowly but surely into Africa, and we've been slowly and slowly and slowly but losing land in actual um, Europe. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that has kind of peeved me a lot. Oh my goodness, wow, both of them are very friendly. Okay, you know what, let's actually stop investing into the, into Bavaria. I'm probably not going to get Bavaria. So let's just stop investing into them. Uh, Germany seems to have all these guys under their control. So they're probably going to form the Germanic Federation here soon, which is not good. So that means I'm probably going to have to figure out some ways to become even more diplomatically powerful. Because once they form that, it's basically all over for me. So, yeah. Good times, good times. So, anyways, and you see what I mean? Instantly an allied with the Germans. Did I not point this out to France? Did I not point this out, you, you douchebags? Seriously. You guys just basically sealed your own fate. Because I was like the only person here that could actually help you guys out. And now you guys are going to have to deal with the Germanic Federation. But luckily... The good thing about my sphere of influence right now is that the, German the Germans don't really care about me. Which is good. Because I don't really want the Germans to care about me. Well, I mean, not care about me. They don't really see me as much of a threat. Um. Yeah, I think they'll be worth it. Alright. What I'm going to try to do, guys, is I'm actually going to try to bring Sweden underneath my control. And what do I mean by underneath my control is I'm basically just going to try to either... I'm going to see how much it's going to cost to, like, conquest them, or if I can conquest them. Or I'm going to try to make them a puppet. Because puppets are really nice. Like, puppets in this game are actually insanely nice. Like, having a puppet is basically like having your own personal slave just walking around. Oh my goodness. You are a terrible nation. Yeah, for some reason, they went to war with Morocco at the same time. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Uh, let's wait until we have an upswing, actually. I want to make sure we have an upswing. Alright, okay. So, what I've been realizing, guys, is that our economy is basically um, shattered beyond the winds. And I'm tired I'm tired of letting these uh, um, capitalist dogs, essentially, try to build my own economy. Because they obviously are doing such a good job. I mean, how many capitalists do we have in our country? Uh, wait, <laughs> I was going to say 119? That is impossible. There's 4,704 capitalists in my country in total, which isn't good, but we need capitalists badly. I'm going to be honest, like, since our government doesn't really allow people to really be in the situation and do stuff, we probably need capitalists really badly. And let's see, most of the stuff is actually stuff I can't actually build yet, so there's not really much use for... Essentially what I'm saying guys is I can't build a state capitalistic government yet because I don't have enough like factories to make sure what I need to build is what I need to build. So we need to sadly to say is we're actually gonna need to increase the capitalists in my country. Which doesn't make me sound very happy, but that's what we're gonna have to do. Alright. You guys increase this. You guys keep fighting whatever you need to do. Alright. Go send one unit over there. Go send one unit over there. Because I usually have problems with this. So, yeah. Kind of thinking that right now. Just kind of thinking that. And the whole situation evolving around there. Um, I have definitely haven't forgotten, as you guys have seen, my loss to the French. I'm trying to build back up. Hard thing about building up, though, is that it's insanely hard to build up in this game. Like, all the other great powers keep up with you. And they make sure they keep up with you. Like, they make sure they keep up with you guys go over here. Make sure this unit is just slightly more in the direction of the soldiers. My four units are basically sufficient or skill. Okay. Let's see. Since Egypt is now officially, like, gone with the wind, I think it's finally time for us to, uh, to, uh, take our little provinces. So, let's start doing this. And oh, while we're also on the subject, let's look at Sweden. Sweden is allied with our good friends of the Netherlands, which Netherlands, not exactly a big issue in almost any game I've ever fought them. 
Although, this time they might actually have a good, decent-sized army. They actually have, like, a bigger army than Italy right now, which is impressive. But still, not enough. Sweden, though, I want to make sure that if they were part of my empire, they're going to be a part of my empire. So, let's just go to the Valley of the Kings, explore. Yes, of course, they, of course they would accept that. I'm, like, their biggest contributor right now. Uh, militaristic Industrial Complex. Let's get the dreams of an empire first, and then for... Do we want to switch up our ideals group? Because I feel... Ooh, a militaristic industrial complex is usually pretty good, especially when you're trying to go for a lot of stuff. And since uh, commerce... It, this is really where I want to be, actually, because this is like... Yeah, at least 5% thing for my... Yes, jingoism is important to my country. Yes, I'm glad. Oh, shoot. No! Sweden, why did you have to go neutral? Ah, uh, shyster, they went neutral. So, what that basically means is that I can't declare war on Sweden because they're now neutral. Shoot. They went, they, they had to go neutral. They just had to go neutral. I'm like, get the cause of Vak theory. Alright, we have extra people that I could use. So, let's go see. Um, get the highest growth in profit people and just start enabling capitalists. We need to get at least a bigger turnout of capitalism. I mean, we have very little capitalists in our country. Which really does shock me if I really must consider. Conservatives win the power, that's good. Since since now I can't really do much with the uh, Swedish, I should probably... I'm going to go after Egypt so I can gain that little Suez Canal region. Because in this game it actually does pay off in a much bigger way. Because not only does it actually give you a region where you can actually go in and go invade Asia better, but it also gives you it also gives you actual money per year that you can use it. So it's actually a much bigger deal if you actually can build it. So we're going to prepare for that. Where's my transports? Where's my army? There it is. It's all the way down here in Africa. Go figure. Let's go send that all the way up here. In for me right there. All right. We got more men. We're not building any type of men right now. You guys, build more cannons. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really, really like strategically, uh, very persistent about build the cannons, because I feel like that's usually where where a lot of my troops usually go wrong. This unit's actually pretty much done with building, so I'm actually gonna send it outwards. Whatever, whatever. Support the conservatives, because the conservatives are gonna win no matter what we do. So just gonna support them anyways. You guys move right there. You guys move right there. Alright. We're gonna try to do an old switcheroo. You guys get down here. You get down to right there. Okay. I wanna just just be sure though, I wanna kinda keep an internal crisis is developing. In Russia. Again. Okay. You know what? Let's see. Congressional poll. You know what? I will back the Russians this time. Yes. I'm back in the Russians. Anyone want to back? Ah! Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yep. Let me guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. England might actually be able to... Okay. So what this means, guys, is we have a crisis on our hands. Okay. Alright. The Germans obviously want to break me apart. They're definitely going to do whatever it takes to break me apart, and I'm going to need the support of two people right now. Oh, son of a... Alright, do you guys like anything? Alright, well, let's see. People like you usually like to do cut down the size. Alright, let's see. They will not accept. They will not accept. Well, this crisis is not going to pave a way for anything, guys, because we basically lost. If I must... Wait, wait, how much do they hate him again? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. France hates me just a little bit more than they hate the Germans. So what should happen is the side should pan out to be um, Austria, Russia, and France, and the UK, versus Northern Germany and Italy. So basically, this is like the central powers versus us. This is actually going to be a good crisis. Okay? So, if this does happen though, we have to kind of prepare because we are definitely not in the, in the right mind to fight the Germans. The Germans! 
The Germans, everyone! We must prepare for the invasion by the Germans! The German people! We must invade. We must prepare. We must prepare for the invasion. Uh, crisis temperature, raising up war. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose prestige over this. Um, France. Yeah, France is most likely gonna join me. Um, let's keep increasing relationships with the UK. That way, they better say, yeah, we should totally join our side. Cause, ooh, yeah, I don't really care what Denmark and them wanna do. Although they they're heavily siding with me, which is good. Um, let's see. Greece, I think, is now going to be back in my sphere of influence. After years of not being in my sphere of influence, may I add. They're finally back. I had to fight many people for that spot. Um, let's see. Portugal is also in my sphere. Spain is still in my sphere. I don't know how that works, but they still are. Alright, so let's see. So Italy is definitely going to join against me no matter what happens in this war. So, um, you guys go right there. You guys go right here. Yeah, this time I'm going to be prepared for you, you stupid little Italians. Alright? Yeah, you think you, if you want independence, that's fine. But just realize the cost of independence is not just, it's not just, uh, all fun and games, I should say. There's going to be real consequences, and I'm going to teach you guys the real consequences. Yeah, I should probably stop saying that. Okay, uh, four in Europe. Let's get, like, four more man of wars in, in my provinces. Full citizenship. And... We push for the Jefferson method! Huzzah! Alright. But we have to start preparing for this war. I'm not even I'm not even kidding you. So let's start getting our soldiers all ready, all willing, and since we are the main person doing the attack, we can actually um oh the Bastian war for um Chinese imperialism is about to begin. That's pretty cool. Um ooh, ooh, yeah, you guys still like me better. Ha! Ha, you guys still like me better! Okay, okay, come on, France. Come on, Frenchies. You guys definitely want to be a part of me. You guys definitely want to be a part of my empire. Or well, not my empire. You definitely want to join my side. Let's hope. Let's hope France decides to join me. I'm pretty sure the UK will join me because they're pretty. They're pretty enthused about about joining my side. All right, and it seems like uh, you guys are offering peace. Yep, why peace? Yeah, look at that. I stood up to Germany in an indirect way and did not lose. That is awesome. Haha. <laughs> and apparently Peru's, the Andreas Federation fell apart. And now it's Bolivia, Peru, and all these other states. Wow. Okay. I just think I just added Venezuela to our sphere of influence. So that means I don't have to invest in them anymore, which is nice. That's nice right there. Don't having to invest in them anymore. Okay. Our conservatives claim victory! That's good! And, well, why not? We have to eventually, you know, bring ourselves to be very peaceful and open-minded people. And the first step to doing that is to... Except, let's see. We need to put these guys over here. I also need to build one more cavalry unit. Again, like I said, I, I swear, I just have to build, like, tons of cavalry units. Because I swear I build so many of them. Alright. Let's see. You guys, yeah, that's fine. Whatever you just combine with you, that's fine. Let's see, we need to get some supply limits, though. So, yeah, everyone go to Venice and products. That's really where, that's really where it seems like we're really going to be fighting. Uh, collectivist theory, once the collectivist theory is done, we're going to have really good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Factory output is going to be really high for a little bit. All right. Now, what we, we probably should start taking down our, our fact, ooh, factory cost becomes a lot. So is there anything else we might need at this point? We probably should tech down a little bit in our naval bases. And while we still have an opportunity, uh, decrease relations. Dang it! Still not quite enough. But next turn, I should be able to do what I need to do. Get this little region right here. And ultimately have a great army to go fight. Okay. Alright. Now, side note. Let's see. Yeah, you guys are all protected by the North Germanic Federation. Who? Oh, wait, wait. They actually can't form yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just remembered this. They can't form until they conquer the Alice Lorraine region from France. Oh, gosh. And since these two are, like, the two biggest powers in the game. Okay. For some reason, North Germanic Federation took, like, a major hit in terms of power, which is really weird. Like, we're stronger than them right now, which is really weird. Usually, 
Usually they say stop, but the French definitely. So there we go. Let's see. Imperialistic Japan has formed. So basically what that means is that the Minjai restoration happened and now Imperial Japan is here. Huzzah! So they should become a really good dominant force in that region, probably become a civilized nation and knock out Denmark from the great powers list. Uh, but at the same time, why haven't they formed Scandinavia yet? I'm I'm really curious to know why they have not formed Scandinavia because they're really close, like really close. All right, yes, yeah, so you guys become friendly with me. Anyone else friendly with them? No. Good. The Swedish are going to be mine. Okay, but why haven't you guys, dude? Why haven't you guys formed Scandinavia yet? This is like the perfect. Denmark, you have enough prestige, you have enough men, you have everything. Why would you form Scandinavia? You guys could actually become a permanent power in this game if you guys form Scandinavia. Oh gosh, there's some kind of war going on. Oh gosh. Wait, why? What? Huh? Did Russia just declare war on me for the Great Hamidian War? Did they, did they really just do that? Because, like, uh, I, I don't think I have anyone in, I, I don't, what? I don't have anyone right now in my, uh, in Germany underneath my sphere. Why did you guys just declare war on me? Oh my goodness. Okay, everyone, get your troops ready. Time to fight Germany again. Um... This time, okay, we did get we did get some of our other allies to join in Portugal, and them join in. Good thing Spain joined in. Good thing Spain is also going through its own revolts right now. But um, pick up these soldiers. We're gonna need as many soldiers as we can to fight against the Germans. Even though for some reason right now it's saying that we're bigger than them, I highly doubt that. I'm pretty sure that's just a little spoof thing. But just slightly move in slowly we don't want to completely push our limits but our land is is going to be hell for the Germans to siege that's for sure like the Germans are not gonna have an easy time sieging my land I definitely built up my land to be a fortress of greatness I mean look at that it has mostly just it has mostly just really hard forts so that should be really good right there um hopefully hopefully the Italians don't attack me do they have that yeah they have their cost spell lives good so yeah, they're going to they're going to be a problem. Um, let's see, the first German soldiers are arriving. Okay, new. Let me make sure I make this perfectly clear. You guys are no longer supposed to hunt rebels. Okay, most of you guys understand that. Good. Okay, but to fight the Germans, we're really gonna have to push ourselves to the limit. Okay, 54 versus 38, we should be able to win. Um, with a leader of uh, is anyone better we can get? Just, I just want to know, like, do we have really good leaders right now, or do we have really bad leaders? This guy's actually pretty good for, like, re reliability. Uh, organization actually might play a part into this. Uh, Fred Ludwig. So, oh, that's the same guy. Is there anyone that just gives me flat-out modifiers in everything, so I don't have to be, like, hmm, it's almost, almost there. Okay, morale. Man, everyone just has to have something bad about them. Yeah, like he's he's basically the best guy we have. So, let's go see. This guy can actually do some damage. While we're here, we should also start building some of these engineers I keep forgetting to build for our full armies. Okay, yeah, this is this is not gonna be like the fight I'm gonna need. Okay. We're also gonna try to get Waltenberg out of the war as quickly as possible. So I really don't want them in the war. Alright, you guys go right here, yeah. The German steel is much more powerful than my steel. I knew it. Like, they're going to be able to crush most of my men. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're just using this as a segue just to fight me in a war. There we go. But this time, I'm sorry, I have a much better army. And I have a much better tactics than you. Because I've been preparing for like six years for this war. So let's see, I have the third biggest military right now. Wow! I feel really good! Okay, um, but it seems like this is the, the end of the day's episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching. And, 
as I say, a lot of the times, we will see you guys next time.